I'm Tinashe Moniki. I'm 23 years old and I'm a self-taught glam and creative makeup artist. I didn't go to school to learn the craft that I do. I've basically just like taught myself makeup throughout the years. I think it's been like five, six years. So, and I basically specialize on glam looks, which is like what I have, or creative makeup. So like cosplay looks and just like turning someone into someone else. I like glam. But then I feel like I'm more of like a creative, like making big looks like like Spider-Man or something, like just changing someone's face into something else. I remember the first creative look actually, it was COVID, COVID year, and it was a look, I had like a rainbow across my face and then it was just like outlined in like white and I remember like posting it Actually, I remember doing it and then I was like, okay, this looks so cool. Let me post it on my Instagram. And I posted it on my Instagram, Paul was just like, what? This is amazing. And I'm like, okay, I guess. So from then on, I just like kept on like, just like practicing like the creative looks that I've done. I want to learn how to now actually like change people's faces, like using like prosthetics and stuff to make you look like a whole different person. My makeup process is wild because um, it's either I'll see something and I'll be like, yeah, let's let's go do that look. Or actually, that's that's my makeup process, to be honest. I'll just see something and be like, yeah, this is going to be my next look. Um, I'll do it tomorrow. So I learn as I go, even when I'm like painting like stuff on my face. I probably have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm just there trusting the process on my mirror, just like going with the brush and everything. So I never have like... Like I have a list of like looks I wanna do, of course, but I never have, I never like practice beforehand or do anything like that unless it's something that I'm actually like very unsure of. Like I don't think that I would actually do it. But then um, even if I try it, it ends up being the look that I post at the end of the day. My parents right now are supportive of what I do actually, which is, which I'm grateful for because when I was starting out, okay, I did computer science and informatics in school, in uni. Um, and they, they knew like after that, I'm venturing into IT and you know, office job like to five. And then I discovered my love for makeup during COVID year. So that kind of just like ended. But they did have these instances where they're like, um, we got an interview for you for an IT job. And I'm like, dad, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> Nine to five, that one, see, I said no. Uh, there used to be those people who bash makeup artists because I'm just like, why are you a makeup artist? And why are you just like doing looks on brides and stuff like that? And then I didn't know like creative makeup was something being in that space. Like I discover every day that like, makeup can be used for so much. So it's still a, like a new and learning process for me because I'm just like, everything is pretty cool. Like. Okay, you're all makeup artists, yeah, same, <laughs> yeah. Personally, I love a challenge. Like I always like to, even when I'm choosing looks that I wanna do, I'm always just like, I wanna choose the hardest one so that I see if I'm able to do it. I love those days when I'm, I just don't feel like doing anything, but then it's like a safe space for me. So it's why I explore, like there's no rules. I think that's what motivates me to just like continuously doing it. 10 years from now, I feel like I would have already like made myself, my name a brand, cause I want to increase the opportunities for people um, in the makeup industry in Kenya. Cause I realized with creative makeup, we have very few of us. And I've realized like most babes and like want to learn and there's no like such opportunity. The one time I'd say I regretted, I was probably like nine or 10 and I used to do um, ads like on TV and we went for this interview and these guys were like, oh, could you sing for us? So I was like, okay, fine. So I sang and they really loved it. Like they were all dancing and everything. Then they asked me, uh, would you like to be in a movie? And I remember just pausing and I was like, would I want to be in a movie? Like I'm nine, like, okay in a movie please tell me why i prioritized school over being in a movie like that's the one thing i was just like um 
Yeah, I don't think so because like right now I'm in school. I would have been a movie star. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, that's probably like the one regret because I'm just like, if I said yes, then where would I have been now? You know, so. If I write a letter to my 10 year old self, I would say, like, don't be scared of who you are, to be honest. Um, you'd have like spaces where you're just confused or people are just like, okay, so what's your, what's the next plan in life? Or um, what do you want to be when you grow up? I remember that I never used to know. Like, I would just say model. Because everyone used to tell me, oh, you want to be a model, fine, be a model. But then, like, don't, I don't want to say don't take life too seriously, but also don't take life too seriously. Like, we're all still trying to figure ourselves out. Even people who are 40 years old are still trying to figure themselves out. So just, just grow and be you and enjoy life and love people, enjoy being loved. Um, try new things, explore spaces. Yeah.